My name is Dylan Minette. I am uh, originally from Evansville, Indiana. I am Braden LeMasters, and I'm from Warren, Ohio, originally. And I'm Cole Preston, and I'm from Van Nuys, California. And, uh, oh yeah, and we're Wallows, and yes, we're Wallows. and we are Wallows. <laughs> I mean, for me, growing up, like the artists that I listened to most, I mean, my, my dad um, sort of raised me on like classic rock, like 70s, primarily stuff from the 70s. But then I eventually like, I feel like the thing that I started to listen to most on my own was NSYNC. There was then I went to a full boy band phase. Yeah, that was, uh, that was kind of the same for me. Uh, my, my dad played music uh, his whole life, so I was brought up um, listening to him play in bands and stuff. And then he introduced me to the Beatles when I was very young. And that was one of the first like mind blowing um, experiences I had with music. Uh, I, I don't come from a musical family at all. I, I mean, I, I started playing music because I quit competitive swimming. Michael Phelps destroyed. Yeah, Michael Phelps beat me in a race and I couldn't <laughs> handle it. I didn't recover. Um, and then I started playing the rock band video game like a crazy person. The first song I ever played on the drums was Say It and So by Weezer because that was in Rock Band 1. You can tell me how you're After like pulling Loving the, the concept of music, I feel like I uh, met Dylan about a year or two later and we started writing songs, which were actually songs that I said were my songs, but they were Led Zeppelin songs. So basically I would come to Dylan when we were like 12, 13 and be like, let's see who writes a better song. <laughs> yeah, Braden said to me, he's like, let's both write a song called Tangerine and see whose is better. And I was like, all right. And meanwhile, at the time I had no idea that there was a song by Led Zeppelin called Tangerine. And then um, I wrote some, what? And I wrote some like, I was 11, I wrote some horrible song, and then you're like, mm -hmm, I was like, that's amazing, how'd you do that? I was so yeah. jealous. I need a girl like you. The songwriting process is um, pretty like standard, I think. Recently, I, I feel like um, I'll write like a part. I'll write like a part to a song, and then I'll want to save it so then the other two can collaborate. So it's almost like instead of finishing it, I'd rather get their input because I trust them so much. It's interesting because this moment right now where all, a lot of this is happening for us just so happens to be during the time of a pandemic, which is really strange. And I think for that reason alone, it will be a moment we won't forget for so many reasons. We did work on a lot of music while we've been stuck at home. And the people know it's an EP coming out called Remote. It's crazy that we wouldn't have made it if it wasn't for, for quarantine, just staying at home. And, and I mean, we would have been touring all year long, which we're really excited for and we wish we could have done. But I mean, I'm glad we just sort of seized the moment, I guess. I'm really, really uh, proud of it now. And it's my favorite stuff that we've, that we've made. On the first Wallows tour ever, back in 2018, that was the first time I ever saw the snow in my whole life. But it's like weird. I'm like born and raised in SoCal, never went to like Mammoth or any of that crap. It's not crap, it's great. Um, but it is kind of symbolic that like the whole, like through the band I've experienced so much life, things that I never would have experienced. Normally a way that can make you realize like a moment is when you're playing shows to a lot of people or a lot more people than you're used to or whatever. And we don't have that right now. So it's sort of hard to really be able to comprehend uh, like this moment in time. But I think the moment that I'm looking forward to most is when we can go back and play shows again and, and, um, and just see what it's like and, I, and see if the energy is different, if the amount of people is different. I'm just really, really excited to get back to doing something like that. What advice would it be for a boy or girl in their bedroom right now making music? It's so interesting because that was literally us. Like that was, that's exactly what we were doing. Just don't give up. I'd also say write as many songs as you can. Like always, always just in, invest in, in, in music. Like listen to as much music as you can, get as many inspirations as you can, and just write as many songs as you can. And then that's where you're like, best stuff will come from, I think. Yeah, and, like, and find, try your best to find people with similar interests as you and just 
uh, I guess either start a band or just or just surround yourself with people who want to do the same thing and and uh, don't stop. Yeah, I mean, you never know what can happen. You never know. Yeah.